According to the government, 1.2 million people have been driven from their homes as a result of the intensified strikes. Medline, originally a shipping company, has fitted out a cargo ship offering trips across the Mediterranean Sea to Mersin in Turkey. Tickets costs $250 a person and the trip takes 12 to 15 hours. It is offering a new route for thousands of people trying to escape. Only the local airline company Middle East Airlines is operating flights out of the country, leaving thousands of people scrambling to flee for safety. Muhammad Al Yusuf is the owner of Medline, he said around 400 passengers were leaving on the ship on Saturday. He said the company is offering up to four trips a week. <laughs> هذا الموضع اللي احنا فيه ما بي ما بيطمن يعني صدقني يعني لبنان حلو نحن عايشين فيه صار 50 60 سنه عايشين فيه بس ما ما في وضع ما في منو منيح الوضع ابدا يعني هي بالحل ومنا حل بس شو الواحد بيعمل ما عندك غير خيار في سيء وفي اسوء شو بتعمل بين السيء والاسوء لانه ما في طيران ما في طيران سالك على طول وبدك تحجز بعد جمعه ولا بعد جمعتين وبعدين بيرجع بيكنسلوا لك اياه لانه ما في محلات علماء كثير عم تطلع In the event of violation of the airspace of NATO member states by Russian drones or missiles, the decision to shoot them down is made by national authorities. NATO Secretary General Mark Rutte stated this after a meeting with President Volodymyr Zelensky in Kyiv. Of course, shooting down drones and missiles that violate the alliance's territory is a decision made by national authorities. NATO has already decided to strengthen air defense on the eastern flank so that all members of the alliance have the opportunity to protect their airspace. And of course, this is important for NATO as a whole, he said. Root also stressed that the alliance's allies will continue to consult on this situation. At the same time, Zelensky also commented on the readiness of partners to shoot down Russian drones or missiles. We work with them until they are ready. As reported, Russian drones have repeatedly violated the airspace of NATO member countries. In early September, Russian drones violated the airspace of Latvia and Romania. Both countries subsequently sent initial reports on the incident to their NATO allies and a more detailed investigation was launched. It is known that one of the drones flew into Romania during the night attack on Ukraine and the other fell in eastern Latvia. Bucharest decided to send F-16 fighters to monitor the sky and send text messages to residents of the two eastern regions. 
This situation is a confirmation that we need to continue the work we have begun to strengthen Latvia's eastern border, including developing air defense capabilities and electronic warfare capabilities to limit the activities of unmanned aerial vehicles of various purposes, Latvian Defense Minister Andreas Spruds noted at the time. Earlier, NATO member Poland also reported a possible fly-in of a Russian drone in its airspace during a large-scale Moscow-led air attack on Ukraine but later backed off the claim. The reported breaches have stirred concern over heightened confrontation between NATO and Russia as President Vladimir Putin has repeatedly blamed Kiev's Western allies for his decision to invade Ukraine and accused NATO of provoking Moscow with its eastward expansion. Yet Putin also said that Russia has no aggressive intentions toward NATO members, dubbing rumors that the Kremlin might be sizing up Poland, the Baltic states or the Czech Republic as its next victim, a complete nonsense.